What is up, San Jose investors? I hope y'all clicked on this show because you are looking at out-of-state investing, turnkey investing, right? I mean, you're in ha you're in San Jose, dude. It's pretty much like anybody from San Jose, anybody from California, and then a lot of the other more expensive markets. You guys are constantly checking out, you know, things about out-of-state turnkey, right? Because it's untenable where you live, right? And you're just like my main man, my main man, Larry, right? My main man, Larry, who I'm working with today, right? You need assistance. That's the assistance my team can provide for you. And, Larry, the property I got for you today we're going to go over the property, where it's located, the market, why I love it, and also the cons, right? I hate that all these people teaching you guys about turnkey, talking about that stuff, Larry. They don't ever talk about the cons. Not the case with me, brother. Let's jump into the show. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys, put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today, your boy Jay Wise is going over a goodie. A goodie. I like this deal, man. I like this deal a lot. And I want you guys to know the pros, the cons, the good, the bad. Because when you work with Holton Wise, that's what you get, right? Everybody out there, they're doing the turnkey this, they're doing the turnkey that. And they're telling you that freaking investing in turnkey real estate is like better than sliced bread or something, right? Like, okay, great, cool. What you guys need to have is information, okay? You need to have the information, the good, the bad, the ugly, right? There ain't no such thing as a bad property, folks, okay? Any property can be good. Any property can be bad. You have to buy it at the right price, the right time, for the right reasons, and the right terms. If any of those are done incorrectly, it's a bad deal for you. But, you know, any property can be turned into a good deal or a bad deal if you have the information and you do the things right, right? So that leads me to this property, okay? There's a lot of stuff I love about this property, right? First of all, I love the market, okay? This is located in Elyria, Ohio. 850 Walnut Street, Elyria, Ohio. Okay, just hit the market three days ago. Priced at 145000 I'm going to tell you what. There's going to be a bidding war on this, okay? There is going to be a bidding war. I don't think you're going to take it down at 145000 I want you to bid $10,000 more. $155,000. $155,000, okay? Why do I want you to do that? Because properties in this market go fast. Now, speaking of the market, let's talk about the market, right? This is the Cleveland market, okay? When people talk about cash flow, they talk about out-of-state investing. Where are they going? What are they Googling, right? What's the best cash flow market? Where can I get the most cash flow? Where's the best place for out-of-state investors? Stuff like that, right? You know what pops up? Cleveland. This ain't in Cleveland. This is about half hour west, okay? I like that. That's a pro. If this was in Cleveland proper, it'd be priced even higher because most people are paying attention to Cleveland. Nobody's ever heard of Elyria. How many of you who are watching this show right now who don't live in the Cleveland market, who don't live in Ohio, have ever heard of Elyria, Ohio? And if you have heard of it, but only through my show, that doesn't count. You know what I'm saying? Like none of you, right? But you've all heard of Cleveland. You got the Cleveland Browns, Cleveland Cavs, uh, Cleveland Indians. I'm just kidding. It's the Guardians now. We woke, baby. Uh, you know, stuff like that, right? Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. Nobody pays attention to what's on the outskirts. I love that. What you need to know about the Cleveland market, folks, uh, talking pros and cons, pro, great for cash flow. Con, not so much for appreciation, right? So if you're hoping the value of this property will double in five years, probably shouldn't be buying this property, okay? We're looking at cash flow. But when we're looking at these uh, cash flow markets, right, and people are in the Cleveland market, they think Cleveland, and then they have blinders to everything else. Cleveland's got like, dude, I don't know. 350, 360, 370, something like that, 370,000 people, 350,000 people, okay? The area Holton Wise Services, the greater Cleveland area, it's got like 3 to 4 million, 3 to 5 million people, something like that, right? It's a bunch. You think I would, like, Google that one of these days because I talk about this in the shows quite often. I should really Google it and, and get you guys the firm number, but it's not that relevant. What is relevant, what I'm trying to say, is Cleveland is just a little dot in the overall market, right? So don't shut your eyes to these other places. As a matter of fact, 
I feel like Leary is better to invest in than Cleveland right now. The pricing is better, number one. Number two, the government. Ooh, the government's a lot easier to deal with. Y'all know me and the mayor of Cleveland right now. We, we're getting into sparring matches. That guy's got a problem. Got a problem with people like you, right? Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it. All right? Google Holton Wise, the mayor of Cleveland. You'll find some stuff. James Wise, Justin Bibb. Throw that in your little Googler. You'll, you'll, get, the, you'll get the dirty details. That's one. Number two, the lead paint stuff. Woo, boy. The lead paint stuff, man, that's really changed the game. I got a uh, video below talking to you guys about the lead paint certifications. Now, you need to watch that video. It's like a half-hour video. If you're trying to invest in Cleveland, you need to know what's going on. Now, I don't want you to take what I'm saying as don't buy stuff in Cleveland proper. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is you need to know what's going on, right? And right now with that lead-based paint stuff, I think we're going to be in a period over the next, like, 12 months of chaos, right? I don't want you guys to say, oh, they're doing the lead paint certs, the whole thing, it's crazy. I could never buy in Cleveland. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying don't buy a property in Cleveland without factoring that in. If the seller hasn't done it, you're going to have to do it. So it's got to be factored in. you got to get paid for that initial uh, initial set of problems and time and money you're going to have to put into that, right? And a lot of these sellers don't know uh, what in the heck's going on with that, right? So that's another thing, right? So uh, when you got a lot of inventory out there that the sellers and the realtors, and this is all stuff I go over in detail in the video if I'm kind of brushing through it, when you got all that stuff happening, right, uh, and it, it's a little chaotic, that's what leads me to say, hey, right now if there's good inventory out there right outside of Cleveland, let's check it out, right? That's why I love this. Plus, this is in Lorain County, which is getting two new naval bases, folks. It's going to be like three or 4,000 jobs. That is big, right? Now, what uh, we get here at the property, you got a nice uh, ranch side-by-side -side duplex. It's brick. We don't have interior photos. That's okay. We don't need them because I'm going to tell you what it looks like inside it looks like some scuzziness or like your grandma's house it looks like you're going to do a full turn when these tenants move out why because we got two under market rent tenants in there one has been in there for 575 for 15 years the other's been in there at 600 a month for 10 years okay so here's the deal if these people ever move out you are completely redoing the inside of the units i don't need to know what they look like because they don't look like a fresh unit all right that's just how it is here's the cool thing market rent for these is 850 a pop right 1700 a month 20,400 a year now you don't get to keep everything here's the estimate of what it looks like as a rental property owner uh having holton wise manage it so this would be 100 percent passive for y'all looking at an noi of almost 10 g's a year now 155,000. that's what you got to pay I can't even guarantee you we'll get to take it down at 155000 because this is a nice song bitch right here. There's going to be a lot of people trying to buy this, right? But if we do get lucky and get it to you for 155000 you're putting in less than forty k. Bank is kicking in one hundred and sixteen. dollars It's going to net out to a 10% cash on cash return or a 6-2 cap long term. Now, I know a lot of you are like, oh, I want higher, higher ROI, blah, 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 blah. Guys, quality. This is quality, okay? A lot of guys are buying 100-year-old houses that do good, but there's peaks and valleys, right? This is a nice, safe, stable, safe, consistent earner, okay? I tell you guys all the time, side-by-side -side duplexes are rare in this market. Whenever you have the opportunity to buy one, you should. Why? Tenants stay longer. Why? There's not somebody above them, below them, and they get a separate basement. Separate basement, separate laundry. Do you know how often... My team has to field calls because tenant A is upset because she's a girl and she wears some fancy thongs and tenant B is a creeper trench coat wearing weirdo and he steals them. Do you know how often that happens? Like, not that often, but it does happen. That's what I'm saying. We fielded those calls more than once, right? It's not like it happens every day. But, like, that kind of stuff does happen completely eliminated when you have separate basements, right? Plus all the noise. The noise is, is really the more common thing, right? Somebody above you, below you. Okay. If you get side-by-sides, people typically stay longer, a la this one. We got a tenant in here for 15 years, another tenant in for 10. Granted, they're paying a lot less. We need to get them up to 850, but we don't want to just immediately go to 850, folks. Why? Because that'll probably make them turn over. And then you're dropping probably 10, 15K, Maybe 20K into this to freshen up those units, right? They're old. They're probably grody, dude. 
but we can go slow and get those rents up. I'll tell you this. You know who makes more money? Landlord A always has everybody paying the max rent he can possibly get, and he's turning his units over every two years. Landlord B keeps it a little bit lower, but he's got 10-year tenants. This dude makes more money, folks. Think about that, right? And this is one that's just going to be safe, solid, easy. This is a consistent earner in your portfolio. You want to build a portfolio where you got some stuff like this, which just keeps chugging along, and then you can mix in some of those higher risk ones where we have some really good years, but we'll also deal with some issues. I like this property a lot. Sure, the rents are a little bit low right now, but that's okay. We will slowly get those up. This is something you want to have in your portfolio for 30 years, right? So are you going to be making a killing at the very beginning? No, but you're not going to be dealing with a lot of issues at the very beginning. This one is one I would go for. This is a very incredibly nice property. Like, I get it. People are like, I want 30% cash on cash on the chart. Guys, from a long-term perspective, this is... This is a really, 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 really nice property. I really dig this one. I think you should make a move. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.